everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday morning and usually I open up my videos by telling you guys what I'm going to be recording and today we're just going to shoot the poo. We're going to shoot the poo in the poo orifice because I have nothing to talk about. I have nothing really of a substantial thoughts to say to any of you and I don't have a video idea for today so I thought that I would just come in front of the camera and just you know shoot the shit whatever happens happens but anyway I'm drinking coffee of course I just got home from work and um I, I did change my shirt, as you guys can maybe possibly see. I don't know. This is a Moomoo shirt, um, but I just put my cardigan over it because obviously I'm not going to be like raw showing you guys my Moomoo's. But anyway, um, I don't know. When I come home from work, usually what I do is I like let the dog out, which I already did. I change right away into a Moomoo or like comfortable clothes and I sanitize. I sanitize my hands. I try to possibly take like a body shower because depending on who I was working with throughout the day, you know, sometimes those things need to happen um, because of germs and everything. And you guys, do you guys know, do you guys realize that there are so many things going around right now? I was shocked to hear that there are like so many different things going around like upper respiratory, pneumonias, all different kinds of stuff. And I feel like it's kind of early in the year for all that kind of stuff to happen. But anyway, um, I chose a snack also after work. I found this at Aldi. This is the pumpkin spice caramel corn and it is a butter buttery caramel corn infused with classic pie spices blended with roasted pumpkin seeds. Yum. But I kind of like wanted nuts in here. And on the back it does say that it may contain tree nuts, peanuts, and egg. But I don't see any egg. Or I don't see, well I don't see any egg, but I don't see any nuts. And I kind of wanted a nut. But anyway, I'll show you guys what they look like up close and personal here. So it kind of looks like this and it's got like, you know, the punk on sheet and that. Anyway, it's really good. Um, so if you guys are new to my channel, definitely subscribe. I upload a video every single day at 5 a.m. And um, sorry, this is such a shit show, but I'm gonna go through my mail real quick. I did get several pieces of junk mail today. Here I got a voucher for Time Warner Cable. I don't have cable. Do you guys have cable? I kind of sometimes wish I have cable because I'm having a problem with American Horror Story. And I love that show, by the way. Well, I should say this. I stopped watching it when, um, I can't remember what season it was, but it was the season, I don't know like what it was called, but it was the season where they went into like this handicapped type home for, or I don't know what it's called, like an insane asylum basically for the mentally handicapped people and I can't watch that. Like I just, I lose it. I have nightmares at night about it. So I stopped watching it at that season. So there's this new season that's airing now and every single time I try to sign in using somebody's cable company, I'm not going to mention names, but um, I type it in and it says, we are sorry, but the parental controls are not going to allow you to watch a show because the show is literally fucked up. And I'm just like, but I want to watch. I want to watch. It's about a pig this season and I think they buried the pig under the ground of the house. I don't know. But anyway, here is a voucher from Time Warner Cable for $89.99 a month for the first year plus taxes. So basically you're paying 90 bucks a month and then, oh, and you get internet too. Oh, it's internet, TV, and phone for 89. You probably have to sign like a four-year agreement. I don't know. I'm with AT&T right now and every single time I try to call AT&T about something, they try to sell me um, a landline. Oh, my son just went down. Anyway, they try to sell me a landline, which I don't want a landline, 
And then they also tried to sell me um, TV service. And like I say to them, I'm sorry, but I'm usually never home to watch TV. And when I am, I'm always on Netflix. So there's that. This is a mouth-watering coupon inside for Pizza Hut. Uh, no, not Pizza Hut, Domino's. I usually order from Pizza Hut if I order pizza at all, which I haven't like in a seriously long time. But recently I have tried Domino's and it was pretty good. Dear valued customer, hello again from your neighborhood Domino's. Well, hello. We have noticed that you haven't called us in a while. Well, yeah, I've been busy. We would love this opportunity to regain your regular business. Please use this special coupon. Any large, any toppings for just $10.99. Order as many as you like with this one coupon. That's not a bad deal, is it? I don't know. The dog's barking, you guys. Can you hear her in the background? She's upset. Snooky, come here. She gets so angry. And then I did get an Aldi um, little flyer in the mail. This one... Pumpkins. It's pumpkin season, 69 cents per pound. Fresh family pack of drumsticks, of chicken drumsticks. Interesting. I don't know, you guys. I've been going to Aldi more and more, and I, I really do like it. But I can't do a full grocery shop at Aldi. You know what I mean? What is this? Dutch apple pie or cherry. What's Dutch apple pie? What does it mean when it means Dutch? Dutch. Have you seen and met the cheese lady? This lady looks horrible. She looks like she's having a really bad day. Get to know her at youtube.com slash Aldi USA. What? There's a cheese lady? Look at her face. She looks super upset at life in general, doesn't she? Who are you? She's talking about craft. So other supermarkets, craft singles are $3.21, but Aldi's brand of craft cheese, but it's not really craft. It's Aldi is $1.69. I don't really like sliced cheese like that, like from craft. Do you guys? If I get any like sliced cheese, it has to be from the deli because we're really not that basic, but I don't know what the dog is barking at. Let's look at Instagram, you guys. I usually, that's another thing I do when I come home. I get on my little iPad device, which is at 49%, by the way. I don't know, whatever. And then I look on Instagram. Uh oh, no internet connection. What's going on with life? Oh, I have it on airplane mode. Oops. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. You know, oh, oh my. I'm going to share some of these photos with you guys. But I just want to say, you know what makes... You know what makes me so mad is when I join like Shih Tzu pages on Instagram and they post pictures and they won't post pictures of Snooky Louise, but they will post pictures of dogs that are not Shih Tzus. They look like they could be half of a Shih Tzu, but it's not a real Shih Tzu. Like the muzzle is out and Shih Tzus have a very like pushed in like face. Come here, baby. Oh my God. This is DT Mongoose. And it looks like his lover, and they are at the Irish pub in Boston, Massachusetts. Look at these lovely men. Oh my goodness, they've been following me forever, and they are just the cutest little bunkins. I'm going to like that. Let's see what else. Oh, now this one, mini bullet dog. This one is so cute. This dog was a rescue dog, and he, just adorable. I always like that one. Who else is... Oh, Okay, so another thing or like group of people that I follow on Instagram are trail cameras because I get so excited when I see like an animal that you wouldn't normally see on a trail camera. If you guys don't know what that is, basically these mountain men or these like hunter men or whatever, they'll set up cameras in a very particular place, like on their land where they hunt or just in the wild wilderness and nature. And then like at nighttime when there's movement, the camera will turn on and it will take a picture of whatever is in front of it. Now here, this one I think is from Wisconsin. I think so. Yeah, and it's called Trail Cam Trophies, and look at that buck. Look at him. He is one with nature. I'm going to like that photo. Um, Let's see what else we have in here. 
I don't know, you guys. Oh, Manny. Manny's such a thug. He's such a little thug. Let's like him. We see Starbucks. I see other things. Oh, Lisa. I see Lisa. What is Lisa doing with herself? Oh, Lisa. This is Lisa, by the way. Lisa, I love you. Lisa is Robert Child's uh, basically sister from another mister. And um, she wrote here, I'm calling your district manager and I'm telling them what you did and how you effed up. Jen, your ass, your ass is going to get reamed. But there she is. She's just a peach of nature. Just a little peach of nature. What else is in here? Who else is in here? I want to, oh, Khloe Kardashian. You know how that goes. Oh my God. I found another trail cam photo. This one's got something entangled within his, within his antlers. Oh no. Oh no. He has cornfield husk in his things. Cornfield husk. Look at that. Goodness sakes. Here's some turkeys. I do a lot of sheets. Oh, here's Waka with Andy. Bravo, Andy. Oh, my God, you guys. Anyway, okay, this video is getting out of hand. I'm going to put this down. And then I just wanted to show you guys real quick. So I'm getting ready for my... Um, my series in November where I pick candles and I pick a coffee, but more so I pick candles to showcase as to what I'm going to be burning like for the month. And I do it on the first Sunday of the month and I'm going to show you guys a little sneakity peekity, dickity dongity of what I'm going to choose. Just one candle. This is Yankee Candle New England Maple. <gasps> oh my God, you guys. This is like literally heaven on a stick in November. So good. First of all, look at the picture. It's amazing. This pour date was in 2015, and I actually got this from my Yankee Candle manager, so that was super nice of her. She uh, bought it for her and her husband, and her husband didn't like it at all because it, literally, you guys, it's so sweet. It smells like my mouth is literally salivating right now. It smells just like maple syrup that is like straight from the effing maple tree. Oh, so good. Mm, so good, so good. So anyway, you guys, yeah. So that is New England Maple. It came out last year. This is exclusively from Deerfield. Um, if you guys were wondering, Deerfield um, is where they have Yankee Candle. But I'm just going to pat this bad boy's ass. Pat it good. Pat it good. But anyway, you guys, so that is my video for today. I have no idea what just happened or what I just talked about, but I did it for like 13 minutes. And I hope that you guys like this video because like I said, I didn't have anything planned today and this is exactly what just took place. So this is what you get. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys all tomorrow at 5 a.m. with another video and I have no idea what it's going to be. So yeah, be nice to everyone in the comments, please. And if you guys like these videos, maybe I'll I'll do these videos more often. Like I said, I just say things off the top of my head and I really don't know what is going to come out. So I'll I'll apologize in advance for anybody that I offended. So yeah. But let's do a little rock at the end of this video. See ya.